I heard that you found out that you got the role last Christmas. Is that true, or that's around true. that time? No, that's true. Exactly on the on the Christmas Eve. It's a good Christmas present. <laughs> yeah. How how was your kind of audition process leading up to that moment? Was it pretty intensive? Did you meet up with Daniel and all the producers quite often? Or? Um, well, it was very intense, but. Uh, but you know, I didn't. Um, okay, so the first one, there were three auditions. Um, the first one uh, was in Paris, and uh, it was just a casting director. I didn't meet anybody. Uh, after which, I guess, you know, the producers watched the cassettes, and I got invited to London uh, to the third audition, uh, to the second audition, um, and that's where I met Barbara and Michael, the producers, and Mark Forster, the director. That was the first time I met them. Uh, I did this audition, and they called me back again for the third one, and for the third one I met Daniel. And so little by little I was meeting people. And w did you have a good idea that you got the job, or was it always like you're not quite sure until the day you got the phone call then? Was well, sure, you can, no, you, ha you have no idea. You cannot know that you got the job, y you know. <laughs> there, there were other people. I knew, I knew that um, the fact that they were calling me back is that, that they liked me, but, um, you know until the end, someone else could have gotten it. And then preparing then, were you, did you have to go through a very intensive training period or was it something that was? Uh, yeah, for the last one, because for the last one I was, for the first two I didn't do accent, um, but for the third one I, um, because I, um, I already read the script by then, and um, I saw that the character was Bolivian and uh, I, uh, I really rehearsed and prepared the Hispanic accent for yeah for two weeks before the third audition. Every day I worked. Going through the script, then were you surprised at how much action is involved with your character? And you have to do a lot of yeah. stunts and stuff. Were you kind of excited, or is that something that that you were kind of like, oh my gosh, this is no, a... I, this is I loved it. I would do it any time. <laughs> I'm I'm a pro now. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, the, you know I know how to do a lot of things now. So. Uh, um, but I had no idea that I was going to do that when I read the script because, you know, you see and it's like, okay, action, but whatever. You, you don't know how it's done. I mean, if you never did, you know, action films before, which was my case, um, I, you know, if I was, I, would ne I was never involved in any action scene. I had no idea. So uh, I, I didn't realize until I really started training. And the day they put me in and I started training really hard, I realized that it was going to be it was going to be very physical. Any sequence in particular that maybe before shooting you were like, uh oh, this is gonna be a scary one or, or do you have were you were you kind of ready for it before each each you know, like big action sequence or anything like that? I was ready, uh, because by the time we we had uh, whatever scene to Film, I was ready already because we would be training, you know, a long time before that. Uh, and they brought me uh, to London a month before I started shooting. And just for a month, it was physical training. It was just that every day. So, you know, imagine I was, you know, I, by the time I had to do my scenes, I was in shape. <laughs> was it exciting to see how your body may have changed? It, like maybe all these muscles in places that maybe never <laughs> were there before. Is that kind of fun for you to yeah, kind of Yeah, did you watch? see the film? Yeah, you did look you good. see the muscles? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, me, myself, I'm so, I'm just, you know, never ever in my life I had muscles like that. <laughs> and um, yeah, it did change my body. Of course, it was surprising. I never thought I, my body could look that way, you know. But, uh, you know, it's a good... Uh, it's a good thing to know. Basically, um, a little bit of work, and you can do anything. To work with Daniel, then, what is it like to, to kind of have scenes with him, and, and, and how he's focused as, as an actor, and, and he's quite physical too. Was it was yeah. it interesting to? Yeah, it is. Of course, it's really um, inspiring to see an actor who works like that. He's such a hard worker. All the time he was working, he was spending his evenings in the gym. You know, while the day, you know, the whole morning and, and the whole day, he would be shooting. So I don't even know when he had rest, you know, he was just working, working. And of course, he is very focused on his part. Like he is, you know, the moment he appears on the set, he's Bond. Did he, did he ever do Bond, James Bond? Did, like, th as a joke, did you ever talk to him about these, like, can you do the Bond accent? Or did he, or was it, there, was, there any, was there any jokes on set, or is it kind oh, of... Oh, there were a lot of jokes, but not exactly these ones. I would have asked him. <laughs> <laughs> Last question then, you know, on this poster, you, the old Bond girls used to drape around, you know, James Bond. You're not even looking at him, so that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty badass on your part. Um, was that 
is that exciting to be part of this almost new generation of a Bond girl? Then you're kind of setting a new new page. Like it definitely way. is. Definitely is. I'm really, uh, you know, as I said, I'm really lucky. I did, uh, you know, the, uh, the James Bond film in 2008. <laughs> Because it's really, it started changing since Casino Royale, and it's, um, I think that's how, that's the direction it's gonna go in, and I think it's really, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm very excited about that. It's exciting to watch. Thank you very much. Nice Thank talking you. to you.